Hey, hey everyone, Greenbeard here, and welcome back to another MLB 9 Innings 22 video on my channel. So, the last time I said we'd be able to take Fergie Jenkins' Black Diamond in a couple weeks, but as you can see, we had some very good luck with Black Diamond pieces grinding out this week in Master League mode, which means today we'll be taking Fergie Black Diamond. Um, now, he doesn't have a great train on him. It's not bad, but... I I would rather location be two, and it also doesn't really matter because we want to wait and see what skills we get on him. Uh, now, in terms of skills, we have 12 premium skill change tickets that we can use on him if we're able to land a good legend skill. And again, he is a legend card, which means he will always have a triple three set, and he, because they see legend skills more often, I will only take slow starter control master or fireball or on a legend um if we don't get it we'll just wait till we get more premiums i don't think i'm going to purchase premiums on this account not really wanting to do that um and we have three skill select skill protect and one skill select change tickets as well we'll also use those five uh skill change tickets we have because we have a couple updates i did pull the By byron buxton from the uh, live Wish Player Pack because, uh, as some of you pointed out, we will be getting another Live Wish Player Pack from the current All-Star event. So, you know, essentially, from the All-Star event, I was able to get a free Byron Buxton. And because he's Player of the Month, he only rolls gold and silver skills. Now, he's having a pretty mediocre year. If it weren't for the power, it wouldn't be a very good card. Um, but that power is pretty pretty epic so um this is the first set we rolled on him we threw a couple skill change tickets on him but you know we'll roll a few more see if we can get something a little bit better again uh like i said with the schwarber some combination charisma slugger and a third would be ideal we also uh we have this mitch garver here we got him we opened a skill storage slot got him barreled up spot not an end game set because he's never going to hit barrel it up but we did get a very good train on him, uh, 13, 13, 11 right now. We have two levels left to go with ant tickets. And I believe what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, because his eye is so low, I'm probably going to go maybe three eye, three power. And then it would be 13, 16, 14. And then he'll have power one, eye two, contact three. I think that's I think that's along the lines of what we're going to do for this card, but we need to get one final upgrade for him because we're not quite there yet. Um, and on top of all of that, we have a mileage sig to pull. So absolutely going to be a loaded day today, so not going to waste your time anymore. We'll start out with packs. Actually, let's start out with Black Diamond and him so we can use those packs to special train him. All right, so we got Fergie here, and we're going to take him all the way to Black Diamond. Our second Black Diamond legend starting pitcher. For a 105 team, this is, uh, that's pretty, pretty epic, I think. All right, <laughs> he's Black Diamond, nice. Love to see it. All right. So now we'll do packs, we'll use them to special train, and we'll finish off with skill change tickets. We also have a team select pitcher batter pack, so lots, lots, lots to do today. These all-star packs are more or less useless unless you pull a diamond from them. Uh, a diamond team card, I should say. I think I pulled that exact Scherzer or a similar year Scherzer on my Phillies team, which is kind of weird. All right, so nothing there. Not really surprised. Um, we'll do vintage packs last. All right. Um, cool. So from these, would love to see some upgrade material or, you know, a prime, a vintage would be great. There's a, a silver Garver, so, you know, maybe we can get lucky and uh use he'll be a you know maybe a successful upgrade for 
the one in our lineup would get him up to 20. I don't have the amp tickets to finish that Garver off yet, I don't believe. But, you know, still love to see it. So in terms of special training, Fergie is almost, almost um, to level 8. He's just a hair below 8, so we'll definitely be able to get him to 8. My hope is we could also get him to 9, but I don't know if we have enough packs right now to get him to 9. But, you know, we'll, we'll get as much done as we can, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, we got these NL and AL premium player packs. Nothing from those. I haven't seen a... I think we're getting a little shy of pulling diamonds on this account, but, uh, you know, could turn around at any moment, right? 38 of these premiums. This would be a... Oh, Prime. Goldie. Good Prime. Good Prime. This would be a great time to see um, a diamond card since we don't have too many ultimate packs. There's the diamond. Okay. Now we can rest easy. <laughs> uh, not a great card. Not bad for, uh, you know, Cardinals deck as they're working through, um, you know, building up their team. All right. Uh, we have, we can do a few more. So we'll do these two live team selects and that, then we'll do, uh, like always, we'll leave one t regular team select pack. And we'll do the rest. Um, for, you know, unlike the Phillies team, we could actually pull upgrade material here that we could use. So, um, you know, I think it's a little bit more fun to open these and see if we can get something we need. Um, so from the team select diamond, we're going to go pitcher. There aren't many starting pitchers, twins starting pitchers, I could pull that would justify the cost to upgrade them to 20 to slot them in over Barrios or Gibson right now. So I'm hoping we can pull a relief pitcher. Really hoping we can get a good reliever. Um, would love to see that Sergio Romo card as a diamond today. Um, or Matt Whistler. There's lots of good twins relievers so i'm hoping we can pull a reliever uh we need two more relievers and then we can, i mean technically if we pull one reliever and we pulled the prime donaldson out of our lineup we could hit s set deck then but i want to leave him in the lineup so we need two relievers uh before we can hit s set deck so um you know hoping we can pull a reliever, even if it's a bad reliever, you know, we might be able to, to work with that, you know, since our middle relievers right now aren't good anyway, um, or at least hold on to him so that when we do get one more, we can get that set deck effect and, uh, you know, that sort of thing. So, all right, Mondesi, and we don't have quite enough room for those ultimate packs, so we will special train um i love the special training update and uh, I, I know a lot of um other youtubers have said this but uh it's super nice because you know we can special train now fairly easily without worrying about how much time it takes and you know in the past i've bounced back and forth about should i special train on camera should i not sometimes i do sometimes i don't um so you know this makes my life a little bit easier um do we want to have which of these guys we're never going to use an aaron hicks yeah we'll throw those two in and then we'll keep everyone else uh, yeah, because CJ Crone, unless we were to pull a SIG, which would suck because we already have two first base SIGs, so one of them's already at DH, 
we're um in that regard we're having the same problem we had on the Phillies team where we just keep pulling first and third base sigs um ultimate packs continue to be a pain in the butt we have an ultimate team select uh ultimate gold pack i should oh no we got a diamond wow all right please be a reliever that would be lovely it is but it's a reliever we already have oh man that stinks um we already have tyler duffy and i think we have a better year for him as well um Oh, another interesting thing. They pulled Rod Seavers from the game. So luckily we were able to get his um a silver version of his card earlier. If we ever um if we ever get a GI, we can use it on Rod Seavers because I doubt he'll ever come back to the game and he is far and away the best outfield card that the twins have. Alright, we're going pitcher. Please be a reliever we don't have. Which shouldn't be too hard, as long as it's a reliever. Come on. Oh my god. Not only is it not a reliever, it's also the same card we just freaking twice. We just duped twice with Tyler Duffy. My gosh. Um, Yep, it's the same exact year we have. The one we pulled. Okay, well... Um, hmm... We will hold on to them in case we need them for Mentor. I would love to be able to use them as Black Diamond material, but we might need them for Mentor. So if that's the case, um, I want to hold on to them. Lock you up too. All right. Um, that way we don't accidentally, um, you know, get rid of some team cards we could have used um, in order to uh, uh, start capping up Mentor. All right. Um, just going to throw these guys in backup real fast. Running out of backup space. All right. Um, cool. So, unfortunately, that Team Select Diamond was a bust. Now, we have premium skill change tickets, skill change tickets, and... We'll start off all of that with a mileage SIG. Not expecting anything. I think this is our first mileage. It's our first or second mileage SIG on this team. So, um, you know, it's a lot harder on this team because I don't spend as much money. So I don't have as much many stars. So I don't spend as many stars. So mileage is a little harder to come by. But, you know, we can always cross our fingers that it's a twin as unlikely as that is. Nope, it's Aaron Hicks. Not a bad card. I it would be a good card for a Yankees deck, but um, we alas are not a Yankees deck. Um, we have we need one more Sig, and we can do a Sig combo. So we're not quite there yet. We have this Avisal Garcia, and we have now this Aaron Hicks. So we will go. Try to do this upgrade real fast. Hopefully this works. Not expecting it to, but it would be great if it did. And it doesn't. Um, and now we can get into skill changes. So we'll start off with premiums. Alrighty. Fricky Jenkins. And we will work on set one. Hopefully we can pull a legend skill. There's one. Slow starter. Let's go. Nice. We're keeping slow starter a hundred percent. That's the first time I believe that we have ever pulled slow starter on any of our teams, on any pitcher ever. Like that, it, while I've been playing this game. All right, so we're going to protect slow starter. I always like to read this to double check. All scales will be changed, excluding slow starter. That's correct. Inning Eater, mm, no, I want to keep going. I know we only have three of these, but I do want to keep going. <laughs> and, of course, we go and get a couple bronzes, so. 
and we don't get anything. So um, we will keep using his primary set until we get more greens. Um, and, you know, again, he I could have kept an inning eater, but I'm not really a big fan. And especially with him being a legend, you know, being able to take that all the way up to seven, I would, you know, I would much rather get a wait for a better skill. And also the other thing is, so he's at plus four stamina. We would need to train him plus 10 to stamina to get him the inning eater bonus. If he hit the inning eater bonus on it on his own, then it may be, but uh, I'm not going to train a, a starting pitcher plus 10 to stamina. Um, it's not going to happen. So we're going to, we'll keep this set for now and uh, we'll lock up slow starter set. And once we get some more greens, we'll keep working on it. Um, actually, well, we'll use these first, but I have an idea real quick. So we will use these on Byron Buxton. As you can see, these are his two sets. Batting Machine, Training Junkie Slugger is not bad, especially. It's pretty good, actually, for where my team is. But again, I, with him being Player of the Month, I'm going to keep throwing him skill change tickets right now until we get essentially a perfect skill set because this is going to be the closest option we ever have to getting him that. Um, I wouldn't mind, uh, I said this with Schwarber, wouldn't mind a specialist as a third skill. Um, but triple threes with charisma. That's awesome, but I, I'm not... Uh, I'm not going to spend the greens and blues on it. <sighs> I love seeing charisma, but I need it. I need a second still skill with it. Spotlight slugger five tool. Hmm. If the levels were higher, maybe, but spotlight slug alone without anything that boosts um, batting average is not really good because they don't make contact enough to to justify it so um here's my idea with premiums now that we've got our legend skill on blylevin and jenkins we can use the rest of these to hunt for something on maeda i had totally forgot he doesn't have a legend skill because his primary skill set's pretty good but if we can land a legend skill on maeda we would obviously prefer that we only have 11 of these, so I'm not expecting anything, but it would be... Oh, my God. <laughs> what is this luck? What is this luck? That means it'll be... His, his third skill will be level 4. Yep, third skill will be level 4 with Fireballer on our first premium skill change ticket on Kenta Maeda. Yes, please. We obviously need greens and blues for him and Fergie Jenkins. Uh, well, uh, I'm, I'm speechless. Holy crap. Oh my God. Um, wow. I, I don't, I don't even know what to say. Uh, we're going to lock you a hundred percent, man. If we could get fireballer finesse boss on Kenta Maeda, you know, take boss to eight, leave finesse at four. Oh, he would be incredible. That would be unbelievable. Fergie, honestly, with slow starter, um, you know, with him being a legend, I would love boss to be one of them, but I would take finesse Dom slow starter. I would take, I would, I think I really want boss because slow starter already boosts location velocity. So, I, I think I really want boss and something else. Maybe, um, you know, giant, giant killer, whatever they changed the net name to would probably work on him being a legend. Um, but my God, we have three black diamond starting pitchers. Now all of them with legend skills. We need to get finish off two of their skill sets, but we still have 10 premiums left. Why couldn't I get this luck with Nola on our main team? Um, that's, <laughs> I don't really have much else for you today. Um, 
the the team select packs were and the sync pack were a little disappointing but my gosh we <laughs> we this our starting rotation is going to be so it's already so good but it's going to be so 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 good i i don't even he's already my is a 131 base right now and we're not at s set deck so once we do hit s set deck he'll be a 133 base with uh a control master or with a fireballer set with a high level third skill we have two black diamond starting pitchers one of which already has a set that's and is a team card in bly and the other is fergie who we just got who needs a retrain but has slow starter oh man this team hell it's coming along i'm so happy with this team right now honestly guys i'm so so happy and I, you know, I, I'm I'm speechless at what we got today, too. That's absolutely unbelievable. I wish we were having some of this luck with the Phillies team. It feels like um, Phillies have stalled out a little bit. You know, our our team over there has stalled out a little bit. Every time we we think we're going to get something, you know, we spend a ton of money and we it get something mediocre instead. But, um, my God. All right. Uh, so... We will keep grinding out um, special train material to finish up Fergie. Uh, we're going to be a little bit before we have enough material for that. So now that he's Black Diamond, it's going to probably be two or three months before we are able to take someone else Black Diamond. Uh, but when we do, it will likely be Miguel Sano. I think just because his hitting stats are so, so good and Mowers aren't bad either. Don't get me wrong, but with the GI that Sano has, you know, it's so, so good. I, I don't think I could go wrong taking either Mauer or Sano Black Diamond. Honestly, um, we might end up taking whichever one has the lowest, lower performance. Um, but if we take Sano up, you know, retrain him, that sort of thing. That's going to be an absolute killer card. I think I, st I may still, we'll see what kind of set we get. We want to get his eye up a little bit more, um, but maybe we go I1, power two, contact three, something like that on a retrain. Um, Mauer here is pretty set with his train. I'm, I'm super happy with that. Uh, I guess theoretically he could hit barrel it up bonus if we retrained him for a little more speed, but he doesn't have barrel it up right now anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, so anyway, I'm just rambling because I didn't expect to be done this quickly and <laughs> have the luck that we did. So um, with that being said, have a great day. I'll see you next week. Bye.